Welcome to week eight of Reading Freshman Football right here. Brian, unbelievable day. We're out here at Melrose. Hey, it's a battle of unbeatens here today. Melrose is 6-0-1, I was told. Talked with some of their uh, the family members before the game. They've only had a single common opponent, which was Winchester. They said it was a pretty tight game, as was ours. And so this is going to be a big, big deal. They get some big boys on this team, but not a whole lot of them. I counted about 20 or 21 of them. I'm looking at a couple of these kids, though. They, they're, they're all about six foot three, right across the top. So yeah. very, very good team here. It's going to be a big test here for the Rockets uh, with, uh, in week number eight. 7-0 Rockets versus 6-0-1 Melrose upcoming. All right, Foxy set here to kick off. We got two guys back deep. I tell you, I'm looking at this, like I said, Brian, there's only six extra guys on the sideline for Melrose, but every about half of these kids look like they're about six foot three. Yeah, some big boys. And here we go. Nice kick by Fox. He goes to 81. That's one of the skill player guys. Oh, he comes in with a big, huge hit. And I think it's Neff Gatchel. Takes an extra five yards here. That's a very big kid, number 81. He takes it back, and it's going to be first and 10 from right around the 45-yard line. All right, first and 10 here from Melrose from the 45-yard line. From what I'm told, they run a very similar offense to Reddings. The two backs, they like to hand up underneath. They do that time. Nice tackle right there as Damari comes in and closes it for a short yard. A couple big guys on that line, so I'm pushing them back. Oki, but Oki's going to have to do better than that to get through. But uh, Danny Damari comes in from the left side. I'd like to see that. You usually see him from the middle linebacker position. He's perfectly placed there. When they figure out Damari's on the left, on that right side of them, they're going to start going the other way. we got three guys split left now. It's going to be a keeper up the middle. He gets met, still on his feet, and overcomes. Darmy's underneath and Lynchy on top. So nice job there. They throw two guys on Oki, but Darmy's right there. Larry Lorenz are under there too. So it's going to be third and seven upcoming. Here we go, third and seven. Very big play here early on. Pass across the middle. He pulls it down. He's got to get out. Oh, he's got him from behind. Nice job. Pulls him down. Number 67, Jay Kajander. Beautiful play by Jay. Gets his hands on him and will not let him pull back. So the Rockets do a great job here in the first three sticks here, and they're going to have to kick it away. Back deep. I think for the first time this year in a punt return. Number 81, the guy will field that ball, and he kicks it here. It's a good kick. I think they're going to say, let it go, though. Get away from it, right? Oh, he should have let it go. He could have got a few more yards out of it. Number 34, he tops on it, and Rockets are going to take over here. First and 10 from the 28. Brian, before I go, I just needed to send a little shout-out down to Florida. Ben Ferrante's grandparents are living down in the villages there, like, like Jerry Seinfeld's parents. Really? Yeah. Now they said they get the they get a beam down there to Florida, and uh, it's more it's actually um, it's actually uh, our ratings are actually higher than Judge Judy's, oh, which wow. is incredible when Excellent. you're uh, when you're in a uh, senior housing uh, unit. Yeah, yeah. All right, here we go. So cheers down to Florida. There we got right here. We got Flanagan uh, flanking Perez at quarterback. This one's a handoff to Kyle. Gets around the outside. Cuts up, and he gets just a couple of yards here. A little stutter step. I'd like to see a little more north to south there, but uh, first play we get about two, two and a half. Break the huddle. Split right. Derek Van Horn. I think it's James Neff Gatchel. I don't have my sheet in front of me. I should know all these names now, except there's 40 guys here. That's a keeper for Perez. Cuts up. Still on his feet, so he drives it over the 30-yard line. Gets pushed back. He should be... Just to the 31 here, and it's going to be a third and five upcoming. Okay, third and just over five here. Two guys split left and right with Kyle Flanagan flanking Perez. In motion is Van Horn. This one's going to go to Derek, and the ball's fumbled. He's got a pounce on it. I think Melrose gets it. The exchange is muffed. Ball drops. And Melrose pounces on it. Huge turnover for the Rockets right here. And Melrose is going to start first and 10 with unbelievable field position at the Rocket 28-yard line. All right, here we go. First and 10 here. 
from Melrose after the turnover. This one's going to be inside handoff, number 34. Oh, what a play by Damari. Beautiful play right there. He had a big thing, and Danny closed it. That's the Damari we saw in the first two games of the season. Beautiful play by Dan right there. And I think they're, I think they're moving Damari left and right based upon the uh, offense. Second and nine upcoming here. They're number 34 flanking the quarterback. In motions right here. This time they hand off to 81. He's got some room and a blocker ahead of him. He's got to come in there. He's got put steps out of bounds right there. It was Ferrante with the push out, but not before he's very close to that first down. He may have it. He does have the first down. And it's going to be first and 10 from about the Rocket 14-yard line upcoming. The sun is tough on us here, Brian, so it's yeah. tough, for, tough for us to see. I'm sure the camera's fine, but nonetheless, tough one here early. Well set up play there, good blocking. In motion 33, this one's a keeper for number 12. He tries to go up, he gets hit, oh wow! He goes head to head with Damari, quarterback versus quarterback, and drives him for a couple of yards inside the 10. So it's gonna be second, and uh, I say second and goal, it wasn't uh, in goal, it's second at about five. They get right back into the huddle here. No huddle, as it, as it were. Same exact play up the middle. This time he gets stacked up immediately. Oh, he's still on his feet, though. They, oh, they blew the whistle. So Larry Lorenz is in there. Lynch, he pushed him. They blew the whistle. He didn't quite go down, but they stopped him on forward progress. I think that was probably an okay whistle. They had him stacked up for quite some time. Blew the whistle, so they lose some yardage on that one. It's going to be third and seven upcoming. Clear four-down territory here, though, Brian. It's third and seven, probably third and about ten to get in the end zone. This one's a keeper right. Oh, looks like a hold right there on DiCrescenzo. Lynchy comes over and rips him down, but Tommy DiCrescenzo got pulled down from behind on that when he comes through. I'm looking right at it here. We'll like to look at that one on tape. Looking for a yellow flag right there. DiCrescenzo gets pulled down from behind. Actually, beats this guy cleanly, but he drives it to about four yards or so. It's going to be fourth and one for the first down, fourth and five for the touchdown. Huge play here. Rockets need to get a pushback here. And now we have, looks like a timeout called. So I think it's timeout. I don't know which side called it, but nonetheless, huge play upcoming. More issues here, Brian. It's a keeper right now up the middle. Oh, he gets hit by Lynchy, but he gets in. Bounces off Lynchy. He's mad at himself, but he had good blocking up front, and the quarterback takes it in for the score. So Rockets pay dearly for the fumble. Give Melrose a very short field, and they take the lead here, 6 nothing. He's setting it up for a kick here. Melrose setting up for a kick, going for one versus what would be two. Puts it up, and it goes. <laughs> I don't see anybody back there, but I think it's good. Any signals there, Brian? I don't know. The guy said it was good, but. All right, so I didn't see anyone in the back there, but nonetheless, it looks like it's good there, and uh, Melrose takes a 7 nothing lead here early in the first after they uh, capitalize on the, on the Rocket turnover. All right, here we go. It looks like Mike DiPietro and, and uh, Derek Van Horn back. This one's going to go to Van Horn. He drops the ball there, picks it up, and then he goes down. So Smartly just grabs the ball. Derek had trouble uh, handling that one. Rockets are going to take over first and 10 from just over their own 25. In comes the Damari unit for this uh, series. All right, here we go. First down is Danny Damari following some blockers. Danny's still in. Oh, the ball's on the ground again, and Jay Kajander picks it up. So first play from scrimmage, Damari gets in a scrum and, and drops the ball. Wow, the Rockets not so short-handed early in this game, and it's almost cost them twice there. Can't do that against a team uh, who's 6-0-1, right? Yep. So it's going to be second and 11 up here. Damari comes in with a play. 
He's got Thornton and Fleming flanking him. At Conroy out right, DiNapoli out right. 89, Evan Tice. This one's a handoff right up the gut to Thornton. He's got some room. Got to hold on to that ball. He drives it very close to the first down. I think they're going to give it to him. So that's a first down. Nice run by Trevor there to give himself a little bit of breathing room. All right, here we go. First and 10 here. This one uh, goes to Fleming on the other side. Big hole. Lucas cuts back. He's still on his feet. Gets pulled down at the end. Huge run for Lucas right there, about 20 yards into uh, Melrose territory here. So Rockets got some things moving here on the first two plays by their two big backs, 34, now 44. And it's going to be first and 10 here from the Melrose 46. <laughs> Looks like that spot is awful. He, he got tackled over the 45-yard line, yeah. Brian. Yeah. Unless I'm seeing some, seeing things. He had about three more yards in that play. I could be wrong, but I'm usually not, right, Brian? Exactly. All right, here we go. This one's Damari. He's going to go Thornton left now, and he gets Matt right up the middle. Two guys in there, easy. So stop for a loss there. Need a little bit bigger push from that offensive line there. All right, here we go. Second and call a 12 here after the pushback. In motion right now is, uh, oh, it's uh, DiNapoli. It's going to be a keeper here for uh, Thornton. And he gets met pretty quickly after a gain of about three or four. So it's going to be third and call it 10 upcoming. All right, here we are. Big play right here for the Rockets. Third and just under 10. This is Damari. He's going to look to throw it. Throws across the middle. Oh, big play. Wow, great job by DiNapoli to hold on to that one. He gains about seven on the play. And, and Adam takes a stick but holds on to it. Wow. Great play by Adam, but he took a hard hit there. And that's a great play just to hold on to. That's a big gain right there. So that's going to make a big difference. Fourth and two versus fourth and eight. You're going to see the Rockets go for it here. There we go. Fourth and call it just over three. And we got a timeout here. Timeout is on Melrose right now. They didn't like what they saw, so we'll take a few minutes here and come back for this fourth down. Here we go, fourth down here. I tell you, this Melrose freshman team has some huge guys across that line. Probably the biggest we've seen all year. Definitely. This one, Nortel, it's going to be a handoff to Jaheim, and he gets caught up. Oh, nice job. He breaks it off. He's still on his feet. Wow, great run by Nortelis. Finally gets ripped down, and it looked like he had nothing there. They had good penetration, and Nortelis rips it off for about... 10 yards to about the 31-yard line. So big run for Jaheim. He looked a little tentative there. And now what do we got here? We got a call? Oh, it's at the end of the quarter maybe. So big, big play right there. Did they get that play off? I think they did, right? So nonetheless, great play by Jaheim to turn nothing into something. And that's a huge first down for Redick. All right, first down right there. Damari. First day of the second half. This one goes to Thornton. Oh, he's still on his feet, and Trevor takes it for about five. Thank you very much. I guess got handed the roster by um, Nicole Cronin over here. She just wants to get her name called on TV, and then she calls all of her friends and says, I was on TV, right? So. <laughs> all right, here we, <laughs> here we are at second and just over seven here. I've seen a couple of spots here, Brian, that I don't like, at least for Redding side. This one's a keeper for Damari. Oh, boy, I tell you, great job going through it. Very, very rarely. Go down, call the whistle. No. This is exactly what we talked about. But nonetheless, I, I, very rarely do you see a guy like Lucas Fleming get uh, pushed back on a block, but Damari takes it for what's going to be a first down. Yeah. You got to call it. This is what we talked about earlier, Brian, right? When you get stacked up like that, I don't know what these guys are waiting for to call the whistle. You try to go down, and they try to rip it out of there. So nonetheless, you know, lesson for the other backs here, too. If we get stacked up, you get that first down, let it go, right? Yep. Get the first down, get on your knee. All right, nonetheless here, it's going to be first and 10 from about the 14-yard line. Rockets moving the ball very well on this series. 
This one's Damari. This one goes up to Thornton. He's got a big hole. He cuts back. And Trevor's still on his feet and drives it down inside the five. So that's going to be very close to another first down. It's going to be first and goal here. They might call it second and maybe one. So he's right at the five-yard line. They call it second and a foot for a first down, five yards for a touchdown. Big, tough runs here for uh, Thornton and Fleming early in the game. And Damari, this one goes to this. Oh, the ball goes down. I think Redding got it. Wow. The ball gets muffed on the snap there, and Danny Damari pounced on it. Number 81 was right there, and Damari went in and pulled it away from him. So a huge play right there to hold on to that ball. Tell you, Rockets got to get more shorthanded here. Very big game with two undefeated teams, and we need to hold on to the ball a little bit better. So fortunate to hold on to it. It's going to be third and now five for the first down, ten for a touchdown. Clear four-down territory here, though, Brian. Oh, yeah. We got Thornton left, Fleming right. In motions, Nortellis. They got to fake it there. They swing it out to Trevor. Wow, good job. Oh, he's still on his feet. Good job by number 33. He was right in there, and it didn't fool him. Trevor shakes him off. He gets pulled down by another guy, but he's going to be very close here now. It's going to be about fourth and one and a half, two for the, uh, for the first down. Clearly, they're going to go for it here, but this is a huge play. They need two. Oftentimes, if you need that, you call in number 34, or you have a number 11 follow a number 34 somewhere. Right up the middle. This time, Thornton's on the right. In motions, Nortellis. He's back to throw. Oh, boy. He's got to throw it over the middle, and he gets stopped. Number 12, the quarterback knocks it down, and the Rockets are going to turn it over on downs. So they try a play right over the middle. Comes right in the middle. No one was on him. Number 12, he jumps up and blocks the pass, and the Rockets are going to turn it over here. The only saving grace here is they're very, very deep in Melrose territory, but the Rockets had an excellent drive there, stalled by a fumble, which actually they recovered that's pushed it back. And then a fourth down play that gets knocked down, batted down over the front. First and 10 here from Melrose. Leading 7 0. A few minutes into the second quarter here. Right up the gut here. Larry Lorenzo's on him and rips him down himself. Adam Deemer's in there too, so nice job by Larry. All right, here we go. Second down, and they call it eight here. Number 34, four, flank and 12. In motion, 33. He's going to swing out. He's going to look to throw the ball here. And he's got a guy, number four, it's wide open. There's Trev Conroy who pushes him out right around the 18-yard line, but that's going to be a first down. So he had two guys to throw to. Number four is open. Number 81 was open, too. So good-looking pass and catch. First down, Melrose, and they get some breathing room now. Get out of that hole deep in... Uh, their own territory. 100%. There we go. All right, first and 10 here. Melrose just inside the 20. This time he's in motion. It's going to be 34 up the middle. Right there. Oh, he gets past DiCrescenzo. He drags a couple of guys. So nice job to turn nothing into something for uh, number 30, uh, 34 in there. Like you said, very similar looking offense with these um, off tackle left and right guys in motion. This one's going to be right up the gut. We see that play. Oh, this Kajander. And right in comes Damari behind him. Beautiful job. He, I, I tell you, tough runner here, 34. He breaks off that first tackle. He looks a lot like our running backs. And then Damari came in and cleaned him up. So that's a pushback right there. And it's a third down play, and it's a big one. Jay had him. He broke off a Jay, and Damari came in and picked him up. That's the Danny Damari we've seen all year long. I don't know where he was lined up there because they have him on the outside. Damari's made a couple of big plays here early defensively. He's going to go back. He's going to roll out to pass here. He's got 33 open. He throws it very long here. Up. Oh, my gosh, he catches it, but I think he's out of bounds. Wow. Great coverage back there. 
was Ferrante and Perez heaves it up. The guy pulls it down, but he pulls it down out of bounds. It's going to be fourth down here. So nice job there by the Rockets. Great playing catch. We're lucky they ran out of real estate. So fourth down play here. The Rockets are going to get the ball back. So very, very well, well, uh, evenly matched game here, Brian. If not for the uh, the early fumble and the short field, uh, these guys are trading counter punches right now. So we get Nortellis back. It's a high snap. They got to get on him here. Oh, Darby DiCenzo was right in the. Stay away from it. Wow, he was very fortunate to get that one away. Dommy got right in. It's a very high sort of looping snap. Dommy could have went in and crushed him there. Just missed the ball. And he gets a huge kick out of it to get it into Rocket territory. So very, very fortunate for the uh, Melrose punter to get that one away. But nonetheless, he does. And he, and he clears about 50 yards of real estate for him. And the Rockets are going to take over here first and 10 from their own 41. The Rockets. Damari unit up back out there. This one's going to be a handoff to uh, Trevor up the middle. He spins off, still on his feet. Trevor cuts outside, just gets tripped up. So Trevor takes it. He had a little bit of real estate. And nice spin move by Thornton, and he takes it for about six. That, was, that looked like he was going to be stopped close to the line of scrimmage, and he turns it for six, six and a half right there. So nice run by Thornton. As usual, another tough one. All right, here we go. Damari in motion is Denapoli this time. This one's going to be Damari. Thornton up the middle. Cuts back. Oh, Trevor just drives three guys. Hits number two, picks him up, carries him, and two other guys have to hop on him. And he said, hey, guys, I'm taking you guys for a first down right now. Mm. Beautiful play by Trevor. And they are in Melrose territory now from the 44, first and 10. Trying to do a hike right here, and they could have an extra man on the field. It's a keeper for Damari now. He cuts back up. Nice job looking for his blockers. Danny's still at his feet. Oh, beautiful run right there for Danny. Takes it for about 15, make it 17 yards. Danny is about, he looks right. He sees all sorts of green, decides to follow his blockers instead. Once again, has the instincts to do it, and has a great run there. So Damari rips one off for a big gainer right there, and it's going to be another new set of sticks inside the 30. Tell you, we got some guys from uh, from Melrose hobbling off here. They only have 21 players on the on the field, on the team. This one goes right up the gut to Thornton. Gets met by uh, their quarterback number 12, but he takes it for a rough and tough five. That's the play I might might have liked to see around the goal line, Brian. Just yep. give Thornton the ball and let him hit three people. Nonetheless, another first down gain of more than five for Trevor. Got to be getting close to half. Yeah, we got to listen for a time check here. This one's Damari. He's back to pass here. Oh, he's going to get hit. He lost it up. He's wide open over there. It's Denapoli, and he's in. Wow. I'll tell you, Danny Damari just missed getting licked there. Gets the ball off, and Adam Denapoli, there is absolutely no one on him, and they go in for the score. Beautifully set up play, and very fortunate that uh, that Damari got it away when he did. There was, there was a defender closing on him, throws a beautiful pass to Denapoli. I think I could have caught that one and win in Brian. Oh yeah, are you definitely. kidding me? Yeah. Wide open, great route, great looking uh, pass play, and that those are the types of plays that keep you off balance. On now, you know you've seen the ground and pound of Thornton and Fleming. Then you throw up a pass play like that, they don't know what to do, and this is a huge play right here because this is that to take the lead. Right now it's 7-6 in motion to Napoli. Here's the snap. It's going to be a swing-out pass. It's going to be a Thornton. Oh, he spins out. He's got to get in there. Wow, what a play by Trevor Thornton. Two guys close on him. He spins, does a 360, and goes to the corner of the end zone, and the Rockets take the lead. What a play by Thornton. They swung that pass out earlier, and it was well defended. It looked like it was equally well defended here, and Thornton does a spin of rammer and goes to the corner for the uh, – looked, like looked like those guys didn't want to hit him at the end, right? Yeah. They came in and closed on him. He spinned on him. They just didn't need – they could have kept pushing through him, and they didn't do it. So, nonetheless, the Rockets march right down here 
about five plays, 60 yards after what was an excellent punt by uh, Melrose, and they take the lead, eight to seven. They kick off here. Got to be getting late in the half here, so last thing you want to do is give up a big return. There's Foxy right there. It's going to go to number 81. He's a big kid. There's a hold right there on 24. There it is. The flag's there. Absolutely. Big hold there on uh, on number 24, who's Zach Kenyon. And this thing's got to come back. Yep. He had a, he had a nice seam there because Kenny was being, being mauled over on the right-hand corner there. So nonetheless, this is going to push this one way back, which is good fortune for uh, the Rockets here. All right, here we go, first and 10 from their own 30 now. It's one way to get a big seam there, Brian, right? Yeah. Just haul people down. Nonetheless, first and 10 here. Got to be getting late in the half here. He's going to swing out to try to pass. Oh, Adam Deemer's right there. I'm a force right there. Good play. He's going to get a first down. He's pulled down by Nortellis. So good looking play. Deemer was closing. Another half a step, and Adam would have lit him up. So nice pursuit by Deemer, but a good rollout and pass. He's rolling out to his off offside, too. He's done that a couple times today. You don't usually ask your uh, freshman quarterback to roll off hand, right? He's had a couple of first downs that way, and it's first down again here from their own 43. I don't know if I've heard a two-minute warning call, though. Oh, they call timeout. So they had a, they had a different uh, lineup there. Melrose has to call timeout. Let's see if we can get a time check on the field, Brian. Three left, so they're going to get one play before the two-minute warning. And here it is. It's a handoff to number uh, 81. He's got a lot of room in front of him. Right there is Ferrante. He gets around him. Oh, and he drives it for a first down. Lynchy comes over, cleans him up, but it's a big first down play. I think that's a two-minute warning. I think they also said that Melrose has used all of their timeouts. So big play there. We need a little bit of a push from the linebackers up there because uh, it seems to see the, the, these sort of sweeps, right, these jet sweeps that they pull. He's waiting, waiting, waiting before he turns up field. But he, nonetheless, he gets a first down here inside Rocket territory here. Need a big defensive push here to get to the half of the keep, have to keep the Rockets with the lead. He's going to roll out again. He's going to throw it right here. It's going to be, oh, boy. Oh, he pulls it out of his hands. Beautiful play right there by Perez. Perfect throw and catch, and he didn't make the football move with it, and Perez strips the ball out of his hands. So number 81 pulls the ball down. He, that kid's about six foot three. Perez comes in, strips the ball out of his hands. Huge play by Nick Perez there. Uh, that thing was going to go for 20-plus. Clock starts ticking. Pay attention to that clock in these plays here. He's back to throw again. He throws underneath right here, and he gets met immediately. Oh, come on. Got to make that tackle. Conroy can't make the tackle, and Nortellis whips him out of bounds. So Trevor Conroy right there, like I said, that number 81 is big and tough. you got to go low on him. But Nortellis comes to clean him up, and he actually pushes a very short gain here. But nonetheless, this late and in Rocket territory, you may be looking for these guys to um, go two plays here, right? Why not? I'll tell you, the quarterback's got a nice arm, Brian. Yeah, he does. Made a couple of beautiful passes. He goes back again. This time it's just a straight drop. Oh, Larry's in there. He throws it wide open, just throws it over his head. Wow. Miscommunication. Nortellis and Conroy are looking at each other. Who was that? And fortunate for Redding right there. That the, We just talked about how many great passes. A good thing we jinxed him, huh, Brian? Yeah, he made about eight great passes. He, he threw that one well over his head, and it's fourth down right now. So here's the one thing you don't want to do is give, give the Rockets the ball back with any, any clicks on the talk. Uh, I mean, uh, any ticks on the clock. Or, yeah. uh, I'll figure it out, Brian. <laughs> it's Friday afternoon. Exactly. Big play right here. Big push up the middle on that last one, though, too. Nice job by the Rocket defensive line there. This one's a sweep here. He's going to try to throw it again. Oh, great job. He pulls it down. 
Very close to first down. They're going to give it to him? They are giving it to him. Didn't even hesitate. So first down play there. And it's it's funny to see these guys. Every single pass play, he's rolling to his offhand, right? Yeah. And he's throwing bullets too, by the way. So new set of sticks from the 32-yard line. Let's see if we get a, the clock here. Rockets had another good push there, but they're rolling away from the DiCrescenzo Oak side. Every play, this one's oh, it's going to be a halfback option. Oh, there's Damari. Oh, he's going to come in there. Oh, he almost picks it off. Danny Damari croaks number 81 in the halfback option. And I think it was uh, Ferrante back there, or, or Perez. I, I couldn't see which one it was. One of the single-digit guys back there and almost picked that thing off. So the play by Damari ends up being a wobbly short pass. And did, did you see Damari close on him? Yeah. That's the Danny we've seen from that middle spot. Now, you know what? I hate to say it, him from the outside uh, uh, linebacker position plays right into the play calling here of Melrose. They swing everything out to the right or left, depending on where he's going to line up. And Damari's made a lot of big defensive plays here. This one's going to be a swing right across the middle. Cuts up and gets pulled down by a couple of different people. Nice job there. Slowed up by Deemer, and Oki comes in and cracks him from the back. Now they're doing a hurry up here. They're running out of time. Nice play by Deemer and Oki on that one. Third and about six here. They're running out of time with the hurry up. He rolls again. He throws it. Catchy's he's trying to get out of bounds, and he does. Man, they, they got to do something on the defense on that play. They have not been able to stop it all day. And Nortellis and Conroy are over there. They're looking at each other. They gotta, they, they're trying to get it together. And in comes Flanagan for Conroy. They've rolled out left. And with the exception of the pass that he overthrew, they've made about five of those connections right here. And it's first down from the 20. Clearly just a few seconds left on the clock here. I don't know how many. They needed to get out of bounds. This one's going to be, oh, he, he, oh, he's right in there. Oh, he gets it. Oh, no. Oh, he throws it and Flanagan drops it. Huge push right there. Deemer was in there. Larry was in there. The quarterback gets hit, lofts it right up, a duck to Flanagan, and, and Flanny drops it. He could have grabbed that thing and went 80 yards. Oh, he's probably going to be killing himself here in this one. Let's get out of it with a zero and not make that one hurt. But they swap out Flanagan for uh, Conroy in the last play. Flanny's in the right spot. And he couldn't come up with it. This time they do roll right. They get a close on him. He's wide open. He throws it way over his head, though. So we got to be getting close to the half here. Let's see if we can get a time check here, Brian. All right. Third and ten here. I tell you, Melrose dodged a huge bullet there because we know Flanagan can run too. That not only could have been the turnover, it could have been points for Rocket side. This one he swings right across the middle. It's over his head. Oh, this one does get intercepted. Wow, beautiful play by Nortellis to tip it. He tips it to himself. So nice job by the Rockets right there. And they should be content right here to kneel on the ball that deep and go into the half with the lead and they'll get the ball back, right? So beautiful play there. Nice job by Nortellis out there. Jumped up, popped it up right to himself, and then pulled it down. So they're at about the 16-yard line. I, I think you might see these guys be content to, uh, to um, kneel unless they get more than a minute here. If they get more than a minute, you might see one of these uh, pass plays again. Get Tice way right, Conroy and DiNapoli. Look for DiNapoli in motion, maybe. He is. Seen that a few times. Now it's going to be a hike here. He's back here to pass. Throws it right across the middle to DiNapoli. He's got some room. He's going to hold on to that ball. Oh, Adam's still on his feet out to the 45. So big play. They're going to call timeout here. Nice job. That's the play. I think they tried across the middle at, uh, for that fourth down play. This time, Damari has more time. They throw it across to DiNapoli, makes a nice pass and catch, rips it for about 30 yards. So Redding calls a timeout here, and they're thinking about points here.
All right, Rockets come out here. DiNapoli, I mean, sorry, Damari flanked by Thornton and Fleming as usual. This one's going to be back to pass as Damari throws it up. And he's, oh, he gets pulled down. He's pulling his hand. He's right there. He sees him right in front of him pulling on Tice's jersey, and it gets bounced down, and the ref doesn't call it. A little bit of a floater there, but uh, it looked like Tice was in good position. And he's got him by the jersey. I can see it from here. There's a guy five feet away watching him pull from the jersey. Apparently he wants to run in for the half here. Rocket's going to try another play here. Look for another pass. Now that if we pull it, Trevor Thornton. How about that screen across the middle? Oh, we've seen this play before, and this one could be the double pass here. This one's going to be here. Oh, it is going to be the double pass. He looks for it, heaves it up. Oh, and it gets, oh, it goes down. I don't think it was intercepted. If they call it intercepted, I think it hit the ground. Gosh, I think that one hit the ground, Brian, and they're going to call it an interception. So they try that pass. Trev Conroy throws it up. This, this one particular one was well covered. And if we saw that one on tape, that bounced on the ground, and the, and the refs were in no position to say it did otherwise. Because they're about 15 yards up the field on that play. You, you hate to give these guys another play here after you're making that play and for a play that surely shouldn't have been a turnover here. I could be doing a little bit of homerism here too, uh, Brian, because the tape could say otherwise. But nonetheless, that one looked like it hit the ground because it was right in front of us here. He's going to go back here. Big push by Larry. Throws it up, and that one's going to be, oh, intercepted right there by Damari. Danny's still on his feet, but he just gets pulled down. Listen, I think it might be time for these guys to uh, not get cute here, and they're going to go halftime here. So I think that's the case. So at halftime, Damari picks it off. They exchange 30-yard interceptions. But with the half, at the half, I'll tell you, very, very well-played game here. Uh, the Rockets settle down after some early mishaps here. They take the lead late in the second. And at halftime, uh, it is Redding 8, Melrose 7. Hey, Brian, we're getting set here for the second half kick. Hey, Brian, guess what I'm doing tonight? What are you doing? I am going to Glow Ball Golf. Golf in the dark. Up at oh, really? Yeah. It's going to be awesome. At Hillview? Yeah, Hillview. It's set up by the Moose Lodge up there. So about 50 guys are going up there. And uh, I think that's the only ball that I won't lose, one that glows in the pitch black dark. Here's the kickoff right here. This one's going to, oh, bounces over the head, picked up by uh, Derek Van Horn. Oh, nice move by Derek right there. Wow, evades that guy. Guy who's closing in him, does a nice little stutter step, gets it back right to the 40. So beautiful run back by Derek. Might have, that, that evasive maneuver might have saved his life. But nonetheless, <laughs> yeah. it saved his life and gave him 10 more yards. So great play by Derek. Nicely fielded, too. That thing popped right over the head. I'm not sure who it was uh, out of the second line of defense there. But the Rockets are going to take over here with good field position. And this is a huge series for the Rockets. They get the ball back. And they're going to start with the Perez group right here in the second half. So we got Perez. Looks like Wes Costin back there. Nice. First time I've uh, seen Wes in the backfield. This one's going to be a handoff to Wes up the middle. And he takes it for about, let's say, two or three yards. Hey, credit the coaching staff here, right? It's uh, two undefeated teams, and he's playing guys all over the field here. And Wes Costing, I think it's his first carry of the year. So Wes takes it for about two. Perez comes in with a play. I'll tell you, Nick Perez made a couple of beautiful defensive plays here, too, including a big one that stripped the big number 81 of the ball on a huge pass and catch earlier. This one's going to be a keeper. Oh, nice job, Rod. Uh, oh, he, oh, the ball's on the ground, and it comes right back to uh, Perez. So beautiful play uh, right there. I mean, he, he, made, he, he was stopped in the backfield. He gets back and actually gains a yard, I think. But nonetheless, uh, he gets hit hard. The ball fumbled, and fortunate for the Rockets, bounces right back up in Nick's, uh, Nick's hands. Nine here. Perez flanked by Costin. See if Nick's going to put the ball up here. That's a handoff to Wes up the middle. He cuts right. 
Gets wrapped up after about three or four yards. So fourth down here, and he looks like you're going to see the Rockets kick it away. <laughs> All right, Trevor Thornton back here to kick. Well, it's a little off the side of the foot there. I'm going to say get away from it, but it takes a rocket bounce, fortunately. So the rocket's going to stop it right there around the, let's say, 36-yard line. So not a huge net gain there. Not Trevor's best kick, but nonetheless, uh, it does take a rocket bounce here. And Melrose is going to take over here first and 10 from their own 36. All right, here we go. Melrose is going to start here first and 10. Rockets have had a couple of good defensive stops here, but these guys can throw the ball. There's some movement there in the backfield. Number 34 is on his feet. He's huge. Finally gets pulled down from behind. I think Oki's in there, but he rips it for about eight. Uh, Lynchy, I mean. Lynchy was in there. I saw 55 at 65 Lynchy, uh, but he takes it for about eight there. I thought I saw some movement in the backfield, although, I, you know, to be fair, uh, Brian, I've seen a lot of, lot of early movement this year. Yeah. And nonetheless, nice they don't really it. call it. I yeah. suppose if it's not germane to the play, but nonetheless, the, uh, the guy who moved left had a pretty good lead block. <laughs> this is a new formation for him. I formation goes right up the gut. And, oh, nice. DiCrescenzo absolutely crushes him. Dom DiCrescenzo destroys up the middle of the line, and that might be the last time you see the I formation. <laughs> so third and one goes to now third and about six. What a play by Dom. And he is a big, tough guy, but I'll tell you, Every single one of these guys in that Melrose line might be as big as Dom. Yeah. They are, they are big. Big dudes. So call it, uh, well, they say call it third and four now. Big play here. This one goes to number 34. He's got room, and Dom pulls him down. Again, Di Crescenzo's in there. Let's see who else is over there. I think Nortellis get in there and they call him for the punt. So beautiful defensive play there in particular. Number 52, DiCrescenzo puts his stamp on a couple of those. And Nortellis is going to go back for the punt. Credit the uh, Rocket D on a number of different plays here. Look at DiCrescenzo. Oh, he's going to go around here. Oh, it takes him down as Damari on fourth down. Huge play. Big push by DiCrescenzo had number 81. Yeah, quaking a little bit there. And Danny Damari, as he always is, closes way faster than these guys can put up. The Rockets are going to take over here on the Melrose 30. So absolutely massive play on fourth down, led by DiCrescenzo and the great speed, closing speed of Damari to take him down. And I think, you know, here's the thing about Danny Damari. He's deceived, he has deceptive speed, right? And he his closing speed and his angles are better than any freshman kid I've seen in years. He takes perfect angles on people. He took a perfect one there, takes them down, and the Rockets are going to take over first and 10 with incredible field position here. Tice right, Grady left, Thornton and Fleming flanking Damari. This one is going to be, uh, it's going to be a keeper right there. Damari's going to fall, Thornton, oh, he cuts up, he's still on his feet, Damari's going to go in. Beautiful play by Danny. I'll tell you, the misdirection pulled four guys from Melrose over, and he's following Trevor Thornton. Thornton goes left, and he sees a hole right. Shifts left, shifts right. First play from scrimmage. Damari makes a beautiful play in the defensive thing. Very next time he touches the ball, he goes in from 30 yards for a touchdown. So huge play right there. Great series for the, for the Rocket D, and now the first play, the Rocket O. And they, they bump this thing up to 14 to seven right now, and they're going to go for two. Thornton and Fleming, who's it going to be? This one's going to go up to Thornton. He's going to go, oh, he, he gets stacked up, and I don't think he makes it. So they say no. Looked like we saw a hole there, but credit uh, number 33 and number uh, 50 for Melrose to stack it up. So nice job right there from Melrose. That was a huge, um, a huge extra point there, Brian, because it could have been two scores. You know, you make you, you make it 16-7. Um, they got to score twice, right? Yep. But nonetheless, they're within striking distance, not only with a single point, but the, but uh, a two-point conversion could give Melrose a lead. But none, great job here by Redding. Foxy getting set to kick off as the sun's going down here. A little bit, little bit uh, easier on us on our uh, eyes here now. Sun yeah, now I'm down. freezing. 
Yeah, I know. The sun, <laughs> sun went down and just dropped about 14 <laughs> degrees right now. Foxy set to kick off. A short pooch punt almost. It gets fielded by number 89. Wow, big hit right there in the middle. Gets outside, stay in their lane. But he's going to have huge, uh, you know, runs it back to the midfield here. So it's going to be excellent, excellent field position for Melrose here, having to go half the field. Here we are first down here from midfield. So nice run back there. It was a little bit of a short kick. Number 33 in motion. This one's a keeper up the middle. He's got room, and he's got more than enough room. And in, in comes Lynchy and Perez at the end. Danny got a piece of him, but he takes it right up the gut for a first down. So inside the 40, first play here. Asking a lot of this Rocket D here. They have come up big a number of times. Thirty-three in motion. This time is a handoff to him. He's got put good block in front of him. In comes Nortellis right across there. High tackle, which isn't ideal, but he rips him down. He doesn't get it again there. So it's going to be second and nine. Nice, nice job by Jaheem to close there. That's the type of closing we're talking about on the outside that we need, right? There's a nicely set up play, good blocking, and Nortellis cuts through it. And keeps it to a short gain. Second and nine right here. This is that I formation we've seen in the past. Last time Di Crescenzo made a, a big deal. Oh, nicely set up play there. Here's Perez. Perez makes a beautiful open field tackle. That was a good looking play. They set up that eye, they fake it up the middle now, pitch it out. Looks like he's got all sorts of real estate and from free safety down the middle, Perez stops him for a gain of about three. So very big defensive play right there by Nick Perez. He is an excellent athlete. Third and call it six right here. Big play, because this would be iffy to go for it on fourth. Oh, wow, that thing was good shot by number 12 there. And he's still on his feet, and he gets to, he had to strip the ball out of there. That hike was a rocket. He fielded it, and it's got a huge hole up the middle and takes it for about 15 yards. So credit number 12 there is a very athletic play there. I tell you, I'd like to see they had a couple of guys on. I'd like to see they uh, get in there and try to strip that ball from him. He's carrying it a little bit away from his body there, and they had him stood up. Nonetheless, he takes it for a first down from the inside the 25-yard line. This one, oh, it's pitched up the middle. He gets stacked up. He's still on his feet. Oh, Damari comes from behind to take him down. But I tell you, they almost had an over-pursuit there, but... That's, that's, a, that's a case. He, he looked like Demario Perez on that one, turning nothing into something. The quarterback for Melrose, he's a very good player. So it's going to be second and five from about the 20-yard line. Very good offensive series for Melrose on this one. A little confusion over here. A little confusion that they might be running out of time. D getting their game time inspiration by Steve D. Crescenzo again, as usual, screaming for Lukey to give a push up the middle. Swings it across. Oh, boy. He I think he was trying to swing that pass out to number four, and I he looks like he just lost control of it. So it's going to be it's like third down here and five. Now, this is clear four down territory, but they look like a swing pass out there and uh, just lost control of that ball in the pass. They break the huddle here. Rockets looking for a big play here. Not afraid to pass as we've seen them, and he rolls out that way. This one goes right up the gut. Oh, he gets tripped up, but he's going to take it for the first down, I think. 
Kajander dives in, and then so does Deemer and DiCrescenzo from behind, but it's a first down. So they move the chains again. We get a whistle here, and it looks like that's the end of the quarter. So at the end of the third, it's Redding 14, Melrose 7, but Melrose is threatening. This one's a handoff right at the gut, number 34. Oh, he gets pushed back by Oki in there. Good pursuit, the ball's on the ground, and he gets picked up by Perez. Oh, what a play. Beautiful push to the right side for Oki. He has to swing him out wide, and then he cuts back up, and the ball gets stripped, and Nick Perez picks it up. That is a titanic turnover at an opportune time for the Rockets. Huge play. And Nick Perez, again, is in the right spot at the right time. That's what good athletes do. He picks the ball, pounces on it, doesn't try to do too much with it, get the ball, and we take it over here from just about the 15-yard line. So massive turnover in Redding's favor right there with, with Melrose threatening. And out comes Damari immediately again. This one's a handoff right at the gut. He gets stacked up a little bit. Uh, uh, Trevor for a yeah, short gain there. So nice job from Melrose to close in there. They get, like I said, they got some very, very big guys on that side of the line. Number 75 looks like he's about 270 pounds. You try to get to Mario outside, or one of them outside a little bit. Danny's the guy who, who has the instincts to bounce in and out as necessary. Maybe like to see another one with uh, Danny following uh, one of the two big backs. This one's going to be a pass. Throws it underneath, and it's caught. Oh, big hit, but it's very close to the first down. Nice job right there. It's 89 Tice. So Evan Tice with a slant, and the slant gets it very close to that first down. It's going to be, I'm going to call it, um, I think it's actually third down here. Yeah, it's third down and one. So Rocket's not afraid to pass deep in the zone. This is where you might go. One of those big backs get that first down on the new set of sticks. It's exactly what happens. Oh, he's hit hard, and he drives it. I don't think he gets it. They stop him short here. So this one's going to be very tricky here. It's fourth down and one. Go for it. Uh, oh, you're risky here. Actually, it looks like more than one. I think he's, you might see them kick this one. And go but for it in the middle. He's giving them a play. Right the middle. There, hey, Damari raped the middle. In the fourth, this is a huge play right here because it's 14 to seven. This would be incredible field position. Now, granted, the Rockets got their get that uh, the turnover here, but if they move the chains here, that is going to really hurt Melrose. Huge play right here. Huge. This is going to be a pass. It's going to be a keeper for Damari. He's going to take it and more. Beautiful play, Danny, in and out. He takes it. He might go all the way. Oh, and he's going to. Fourth and one, and Damari, oh, he gets pushed out of bounds. He says at the 40-yard line. So they call it back, and, like, Danny Damari, that's the old option, right? He swings it out. He can run it or pass it. Damari takes it for about 45 yards. He just looks like he's going to the house on a fourth down play, and what a gutsy call by the coaching staff there, Brian. Yep. They turn that over. It's, uh, they, Melrose has the ball on the 20-yard line. That's like Bill Belichick versus uh, Manning. <laughs> and uh, Except that the Rockets convert on this one. So huge play by Damari. And Melrose is very fortunate to, uh, to get that ball uh, to push him out of bounds here. And Perez comes in, give Damari a breather. Perez flanked by the two big backs. I like to see that. It's a handoff right here. That's going to be, oh, boy, it's Fleming. Oh, he just runs over the balls on the ground. Oh, and he gets it. Fleming Storton picks it up. I think it might have been a fumble. Either way, the Rockets get it. But Lucas Fleming absolutely steamrolls number 33. He does not want to go down, but he lost it at the very end. And Thornton picks it up, so very fortunate. I thought he might have been down, Brian. Yeah, it looked like he was. He looked like he was down anyway. But they call it a fumble because they gave him the extra yard that Thornton picked it up. So I wouldn't mind seeing Nicky Perez throw the ball. This deep, he's got an excellent arm. This one's, uh, oh, he's going to be a keeper. Oh, and he gets, he gets stacked up. He should go down right here. So 
It's like a little bit of a late hit there, but he gets pushed back. Good pursuit on the left side of that line for uh, for Melrose, and it's going to be second and 15 upcoming. And Damari's going to come back in. So big first down. Second one gets pushed back a little bit. Look, might have looked like a little bit of a broken play. I don't know if that was supposed to be a keeper there, but. Second and call at 14 here from the 33-yard line. In motion is going to be DiNapoli. Oh, it was, it was <laughs> look at that play. Danny pulls it down and turns it. That was a play that was supposed to be maybe a swing to Thornton, but, but Damari was fumbling with the ball. He didn't have a good grip on it. So he just pulled it down for a couple of yards. It's going to be third and 12. So not the play they wanted to pull off uh, as, the, as it was hiked, and Danny didn't quite have a grip on it. Nonetheless, he takes it for three yards, but it's third and 12 here. I would clearly say this is four down territory. Listen, if it's four down territory when you're on your own 20, it's definitely going to be four down territory on their 30, right? Yep. Nortellis comes in. They call timeout. They didn't have the right lineup in there. They're going to bring in Jaheim for a play, but they call a timeout here, and they're going to get the right one here. So Rockets take a few ticks and uh, got to get the right, uh, right team in. Clapping hands synch in synchronicity as they break the huddle on the sideline. Nortellis is going to go up for a pass here. He swings out. He throws it up. Jaheim's right there, and he pulls it in. Wow, they throw Grady deep, and Nortellis underneath, and Nortellis pulls it down to the 10-yard line. What a play. Jaheim flying down there. Beautiful route. They go with Grady across the middle. Jaheim goes to, goes to the uh, sideline. And Damari throws a 30-yard, 20-yard pass right on the button. So first, I think it's going to be first and goal in just at the 10-yard line, and that's exactly what it is. Big pass and catch. Damari to Nortellis. Huge, huge um, offensive series right here for Redding. They love to get on the board here and make it more than two scores. This one's Nortellis here. It's going to be a keeper for Damari. He follows, uh, gets outside, still on his feet. He drives it into the five-yard line, maybe the six. So they send Nortellis a motion. you got to account for him. He pulls behind, and he tries to follow Thornton. He does follow him for about five yards. So it's going to be first and goal from the six-yard line here, just, at, just over the five. And in comes Damari with the play. Got to be halfway through the fourth right now, Brian. Oh, yeah, easy. Going to be getting late fourth. Getting late in the game, and this is a very, very big series. I like to keep it on the ground with the big guys here. Oh, what do we got here? Maybe a timeout. Maybe timeout uh, Melrose right there. So I'm going to take, uh, take a breather, and we'll be back. <laughs> here we go. Second and goal from the six. Nortellis in motion. This one goes to Jaheim. He's got a big blocker in front of him. He's got to get outside, and he doesn't quite get outside. So it's really a no gain right there. Jaheim's going to look for a seam and cut north to south. Got strung out a little bit. He had Lucas Fleming out in front of him. Perfectly happy with him keeping it on the ground, though, because the clock's going to be moving. They've got to be eating up clock, but it's going to be third and goal from a, just over the seven now. That one's actually a loss of about half a yard. Clear four down territory. Damari's going to come in. Love to see if they're going to roll out, give Damari that, uh, that read option, right? Maybe I could throw it and pull it down and yeah, keep yeah. it. Can never go wrong with one of the two big backs off tackle either. Here's Damari. This one's going to be, he's got to give him that option. He cuts up on his feet. What a move by Danny. He drives it down to the one-yard line. So he just makes a very athletic move. He's on the one. It's going to be fourth and goal from the one. I got to believe you want to keep this on the ground, Brian, just for the sake of the clock running. And if they do actually stop them, it's 99 yards to go, right? Yep. Huge play right here for the Rockets because if they, they, they score here, this thing could be over. Imploring that line for a big push right here. Look for number 34. 
No, it's going to be a swing, and Damari gets pulled down, but he's, he's driving for it. He's in! Oh, they give it to him! What a play by Damari! He breaks the play, and he gets hit twice. It spins off of it. Oh, what a play. And now we get a now we get a uh, unsportsmanlike conduct on Melrose, which is going to kill them. It's going to push them back another 15 yards. Danny Damari gets hit, get, almost gets pulled in, down in the backfield, breaks off that, gets hit at the two-yard line, spins off that, and reaches for the goal line for the touchdown. That is huge. What a play by Damari, and he has made a ton of them tonight. Two-point conversion upcoming, but effectively at 20 to 7. I don't know if there's enough time for Melrose to get back in this one. And the Melrose coach is shaking his head because there was a penalty and it was an unsportsmanlike, which has to be enforced on that kickoff. Right now it's the Rockets 20, Melrose 7. They're going to try to make it 22 7. Right up the gut is Fleming. Oh, look at him, and he drives it. He's still on, but he says no. Wow, three guys on him. Another uh, little extracurriculars in there, but Lucas tries to roll it. They tell him to calm down over there. Redding's got the lead here, but nonetheless, they do stop him. <laughs> Lucas pile driving. I actually thought he might have had that one. They just put three guys on him, but nonetheless, the Rockets have the huge athletic play by Damari and a great offensive drive in general, which was a couple of big plays, including a huge pass to, uh, to Nortellis. But maybe the biggest play was Damari at fourth and two from their own 20, breaking it for about 35, 40 yards. That could have been a touchdown by itself. And so now we're going to kick off from their side <laughs> with that 15-yard penalty, the unsportsmanlike. Should give the Rockets excellent field position here. But we got to be getting late in the fourth here, and it's Redding 20, Melrose 7. What a game. Very, very tough Melrose team. Just want to prevent a big run back here. you got to think if the Rockets do what they're supposed to, they'll, they'll ha have them pinned back. Nice kick by Foxy. It's picked up at the 15. Three guys here, number 81. He cuts up. Oh, you got to take him down here. Number 81 is about a foot taller than number 80, uh, Alex Neff Gatchel. He does run it back to the 40-yard line. It ends up being a net uh, gain of five yards, Brian. <laughs> Kick it from there, 45, and they start from the own 40. Nonetheless, the, the, uh, the, the line has uh, very good three guys out here, but number 81 cuts outside, gets past Neff Gatchel, and uh, gets pushed out around uh, the 39-yard line. So... First down here, let's see if we can get a uh, clock check. I thought I heard 2.03 left. We'll find out if they do a two-minute warning here, but he's clearly going to put the ball in the air here, I would imagine. That's what they plan. He rolls out again. There's Oki on him. He's got to stay with him. It's like he's letting up over there. I'll be talking to number 55 later. He had good pursuit on the outside. Maybe he's, uh, his goal is to contain, though. That's what he's going to tell me afterwards. He doesn't want anyone turning around going the other way. <laughs> he goes, I need to contain, not necessarily be uh, Joey Boza out there. So he'll put me in my place because he's probably smarter than I am. <laughs> right? There you go. <laughs> Nonetheless, I, I want to see him come and make a sack, hit that guy from behind. Second and five upcoming. It's another roll away. There's Oki again. This is a big throw. Oh, and it's intercepted by Nortellis. He's still on his feet. Oh, we got a, looks like a, a hit from number 50. Nutellis cuts back. I think that could be a penalty on Melrose. Nonetheless, big pursuit by 55. Oki again. I'll say that he uh, heard footsteps just because he's my son. But nonetheless, it wasn't the best pass by uh, the quarterback who's thrown some beauties today. And Nutellis makes a huge athletic play, goes up and pulls it down. So I don't know where this penalty is going to go. I thought this was against Melrose after the interception hauled down someone uh, right in front of them. They, I think they're going to walk off another 10 here. And they, they don't. They don't do anything. You threw a flag, maybe you picked it up. Hmm. Odd, odd play to throw a flag right in front of your face and then pick it up afterwards. Changed his mind, apparently. So, nonetheless, we might have too many guys in here. This one's Perez, the Perez group in there. Oh, he moved a little early. He's going to... Uh, Listen, number 26, 
was Kunj Patel left about three seconds early, and apparently the uh, referee needs to get to another game because yeah. it's right in front of him, and he doesn't he doesn't throw the flag. Melrose coach is shaking his head. He's like, wait, wait, wait a second, what happened? But they did call it. They moved him back, actually. Nick Perez now on the line. We got Gilligan, Cronin, Swanee in the middle, Masuch. This one goes to Perez right up the gut to uh, uh, Kyle Flanagan. A beautiful play by number 50, the linebacker. Guy with the too small shirt right there, right? Both of his flaps sticking out there. Mm -hmm. I think he's going to fly away, but he flew right through the middle there and closed on Flanagan very quickly. So little hole was closed, closed very quickly. It's going to be third and about 15 upcoming. Got to see what we have for time left here. I think it has to be under two minutes. It's got to be close, man. I thought they said 2.03, but. Third down here. Ten seconds left. As I hear 10 seconds. That might be 10 in the game. They might let uh, Nick throw the ball. Oh, he pulls it down. He's on his feet. He cuts up. Oh, he gets met by 34 and ripped down. So that could be the game. Let's see. Not sure right now, but Perez pulled it down, had a little bit of room, and a very good job by their uh, guys. And that looks like ah, they're going to switch it up is what they're going to do. I think the punt team's coming on. Got to be getting very, very late in the game here, Brian. Brian, I want to say today in particular, yeah, your yeah. color commentary has been spectacular. Off the charts, it's yeah. It's been incredible. It's fabulous. Insightful, right? Yeah. Uh, lucid. Lucid thinking. Probably a little too much pregame today. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they call that every day for you, Brian, okay? <laughs> I don't know what that is, but nonetheless. Uh, <laughs> and funny, the, the fog's not here, but it's up in your head. Here we go. Oh, there's a kick right there. Oh, he gets fielded on the fly. Nice job right there. Still on his feet. And Kajanda's going to pull him down, and then Oki comes in, and Kajanda's helmet goes off. So big run back there. Nice play. He gets almost all of it back. Very uh, nice play by number 90, feeling on the fly and running right up the gut. Kajanda hits him. He drags him for five yards, rips his helmet off, and Jay's like, I'm okay with that. That's Jay. Jay's the guy who loves the death metal groups, right? Oh, the yeah. Cannibal Corpse of that one. Loves that stuff. I think he said uh, his new favorite system of a, of a down. All right. Yeah. So give Jay a ride home from practice every once in a while and then get some musical knowledge from him. There you go. Nothing gets you fired up before a football game like a little death metal. Oh, yeah. That's what I always say. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Either that or a headache. One or I listen other. to that in the shower. <laughs> death metal in the shower. Yeah. I can't listen to that stuff anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it might be age or whatever, but I can't listen to it. They got to get Oki and DiCrescenzo off. They're going to call maybe too many men on, but I think they're going to play this thing. He's open across the middle. Oh, he gets tipped by Nortelis, and Perez takes it. And Nicky gets pulled out. That play was made again by Jaheim Nortellis. Tips it up, and Perez picks it off. What a play. Jaheim Nortellis has had a massive game, and that's it. Wow. What a game, Brian. Friday afternoon, it's beautiful out here, and the Rockets stay undefeated against a very, maybe the toughest team, most talented team that they've faced. They come out of here with a 20-7 win, and very, very big plays today by Damari. Nortellis, Perez, you know, we call those names a lot. Very tough running by Thornton and Fleming as usual. And credit the D on a number of different plays here. Those guys made some big, big plays. And the Rockets are going to be 8-0 right now going into their final game of the season against Wakefield, who they started with. Right, that game. Remember when they started with Wakefield? Yeah. I, I remember it's, it was it was barely a few months ago, Brian. I think they had three plays in the playbook. Yeah, they had, they had six, like two practices. Nothing. They had three plays. I would imagine it's going to be a much better game back in Reading. Brian, I may have to sign off for the rest of the year because I'm going to get uh, laser eye surgery That's next, we'll uh, figure next it Thursday. Out. We'll figure it so out. So they did tell me that I need to lie down for three hours after. Oh, so okay. if I can put a patch in my eye and lie down horizontally and call this game, I'm going to do it. All right. But for right now, Brian, the Rockets stay undefeated, 8-0, 
Very, very good football game here on Friday afternoon. And now I just got to start stretching out a little bit for Glow Ball Golf, Brian. There you go, man. All right, we'll see you next week.